Well, I've been working in child care in New Hampshire since the early 90s, and I have to say, um, for me and all the different ideas that have come up, I find this one the most promising to really strengthen the field of child care on behalf of children. There are a lot of things that excite me about this program. First and foremost, I love the idea of child care providers being able to be connected in a really meaningful way that not only will save them time, but save them money. The programs that are available to people that participate in SELA will be real savings and will make a real difference in their daily lives and their schedules at their routines. Membership in the Seacoast Early Learning Alliance means that the member agencies are able to save costs, reallocate those savings into some quality initiatives that they had already planned on and maybe hadn't been able to execute previously. And so when you think about the entire field of early care and education, and when you think about the challenges that they face in terms of delivering quality programming and managing their revenues and expenses, being a member of the Alliance strengthens each of the individual centers while at the same time strengthens the field as a whole. It's this idea of really coming together not to compete but to strengthen each other and to find the best in each of the individuals and best of the program assets and really combine that and figure out a way to do it better. So I've been very excited. So one of the things that was, was very beneficial to our agency was the website that they have that's available, the CCA for Social Good which we were looking to possibly change food vendors and that's where that came from. The Food Source Plus came through that website and they were able to analyze um, the purchases that we made in food and to see where they could save us money. So we ended up with a savings of over $26,000 for the year in food, which then we put back into more quality in food, more fresh fruits and vegetables, less processed foods, those kinds of things, which was part of what we were trying to do for the wellness policies. So that was a huge benefit for our agency. Reinvesting the savings in quality is actually one of the most exciting parts of all of this collaborative work. Um, when we enjoyed the savings from switching our insurance and our auditor, we immediately had a pressing need that we'd been struggling with, which was to increase one of our teacher's hours um, every week. She was working pretty part-time. We really needed more quality coverage in the classroom and we took that savings and put it right towards her payroll time and we get now better classroom coverage that we were striving to, to put in place. My organization owns a large old building. We're housed in an old building. It was built in the 50s. And uh, it has a lot of maintenance needs. And for the longest time, um, it gets very, very hot in the summertime. And um, we have, like, it's a parochial school, so it's like on different levels, and it truly gets brutally hot in the summertime. And we've never been able to afford to get air conditioning. And um, when, when the property management company started working with us, I started to realize, you know, that how, what property management was, and that I was able to work with them to get bids for, um, the work that needed to be done in a timely manner before contractors were not interacting with me in a, in a serious way. They would come and look and they would never give me a bid or the bids would be so divergent and, and, and you know, it just really wasn't coming together. Um, and I realized the huge, the huge um, importance of having a knowledgeable property manager because I don't know anything about air conditioning. So, you know, I, I, um, I really couldn't do it effectively. So that was a huge, a huge help. Um, and actually, I don't think the, the whole project would have been possible without it. I just wouldn't have tackled it. United Way is really excited to be able to invest in the Seacoast Early Learning Alliance because what it's done is it's delivered results that United Way never would have seen by making individual grants to individual centers, which continues to be very important, but now we're able to do both. We can invest in some improvements to the system and the efficiencies, and we can invest in individual centers' ability to continue serving children and families in our region.
It's facility maintenance support, it's um, HR support and expertise, um, it's discounted oil and propane for not only for your business but for your employees. Um, so we really cover that we cover such a wide range of benefits so that needs because needs vary needs vary from program to pro program and um, so the wide range of benefits that we offer we know there's something for everyone. I think every major study about early child care has shown that the importance of zero through five learning and physical and physiological development is absolutely critical in long-term success. It is the investment that you can make in ensuring that a child is happy and successful in life. So the studies are absolutely there. The problem is, as we all know, resources are thin in life and it's very difficult. And what, it hap what ends up happening is parents are put into an every man and woman for him or herself and there just aren't the resources available. It's one of the reasons why I've gotten involved in this type of project, but it's also one of the reasons why this exact type of program can be really meaningfully helpful to child care providers who may very well be able to pass along savings to families. Parents can't afford to pay. Teachers can't afford to stay. There's got to be a better way. And I've heard that for years and years and years. And finally, I believe the, the kind of model that SELA that promises to, to continue to build is that better way.